Oh yeah, so today we're on lesson 12. Um, so the vowels we know so far, we know the A vowel. A. We know the E vowel. A. And um, on Tuesday we looked at the O vowel one of the O vowels, which is the barb with a dot on top. So today we're going to learn the second O vowel. So this is a new vowel and I'm going to use the LF to show how it's written. So this is the, o, the other O vowel. So the dot is over the consonant. The dot of the O is on the left of the consonant. So practice writing the O and saying its sound. We'll just use the a lot the LF because it's a silent letter. So O O O. And we're gonna read some sounds using the new vowel. Okay. So with with the, you only using the letters we've learned so far. So that would read as bow. So Consonant is B, so sound is ba, and the O is a bother. Bo. Consonant sound is O, it's the O vowel, low. It's the same if you use the mem. The O vowel is a dot to the left, so the consonant, mo. Okay, so I'll give you two examples of using the O vowel. So I'll use the mem. So the O vowel can either be the vav with a dot on top. That would read as mo. Or it'd be a dot just to the left side of the letter. That would also read as mo. So they're the two ways to write the mo, the O vowel. So we're going to read some words now. Okay. Practicing the Okay. So this is the the other old vowel we learnt in the in the last lesson. So like I just showed you is the, the mem so mm and then sound of the vowel, which is mo. So mo, show, it's the verb with the old vowel, vo. And we'll have a practice with the new old vowel for today. Okay, so this one would read, it's just the tab. The dot is above the left side of the letter, so it's the O vowel. Then it's the Lamed, L, and the A vowel. Tola. So you're reading this word, you look at the Hebrew consonant, it's the resh, the resh sounds as ur, you need to know the letters and these sounds will really help with reading Hebrew. It's the over one next to it, ro, the lamed and the e, ro le. Or the same word could be written and it still get the same sound. The resh with the O vowel, Lamed with the E vowel, Roller. So there are the two different ways you can write the O vowel.
practice small little words. Okay, so look at the letter, it's the resh, r, t, the a vowel underneath, ra, go to the next Hebrew letter, which is the mem, the o vowels by the side, and it finishes with the tab, ramot. This one's just practicing some of the other ones we've done so far. So this is the ka, which is k, the a vowel underneath. It's the sheen, kash, and again, k, the a vowel underneath. Kash, kash. And some Hebrew words with vocabulary. So it's the calf, cat. The dot is above, so that shows the old vowel. Co. Then you go to the next letter, which is the men. You got the e vowel underneath and the and the resh. Comer, which is priest. K, Kaf, O vowel, Lamed, Kol, which is all. Okay, so this one, you know, just the sheen of. I've got two dots, so the dot on the right to the sheen is always this the sh sound. Then the, the dot used for the vowel is the vowel sound for the O. So show it's the mem m e vowel and that show me, which is God. Okay, so just as a practice, I wanted to write out the following sounds in Hebrew. Carmel, Koma, Gomel, and Karov. Okay, so we start with Carmel. So we need to get the cat, we need the K, any K Hebrew letter. So we use the calf because we've only learned that one so far to get the R sound, any one of the A vowels underneath, and then the resh, Ka, M, E vowel for me, Lamed, Carmel. So for Koma, So we put the K, the dot to the left of the letter for the old vowel, and then the mem on the A, comma. Gomel, the G, dot to the corner, Gomel, and for Karov, again, just use the calf. The A vowel underneath for the R sound. R, O, V. Karov. Remember, guys, it wouldn't it wouldn't be wrong if you 
um, like for instance for coma it can either be written with a dot or you could use a verb it's they both still read coma okay so just a quick little test Um, write the following vowels for me. Can you write out the three symbols for the A vowel, for the R sound? Then I want you to write out the E vowel, the air sound. And, the, and then the O vowel, get the O sound. Okay, so I'll start putting the answers in. So the R vowel symbols are the E vowel symbols and the O barb with a dot or the dot above a Hebrew consonant to the left. Okay, so congratulations, you now know nine consonant and you know you've learned the A vowel, the E vowel and the O vowel. Okay, so next week we're going to look at a new consonant and we'll be looking at the letter Samech, the S.